Hello guys. Figure I'd make a POV review on the ant here. You know, just something different. From my view, whenever I have the uh, phone mount in and I do the whole spiel. So I'm on tour mode essentially. So it really isn't that bad. You can just use your feet and just essentially just pedal and utilize the electric assist from the pedals so i mean there's no derailleur on there essentially so you basically have one gear no gearing essentially so it's just one gear kind of like a bmx essentially and as you hear by that skid back there the rear brakes work wonderful um i wonder if they need like some kind of fluid because like they, they fucking work good up front and back. Fucking making skids back there. It's, like I said, they stop on a dime. It's very responsive on, uh, tour mode. Because, yeah, that's mainly what I'm doing most of my pedaling on. I'm not really even throttling it, because if you actually just utilize the whole... Uh, pedal assist you can actually get more range out of it because I've just been pedaling around the neighborhood for like maybe 10 minutes before I even started and I'm still at a full battery so I'm at like a mile now on the odometer since I've started but this is a four month review on it I mean every time you shut it off the odometer it's your trip mile or well, your trip odometer it'll track how much you've traveled on your first go essentially so let me wait here it's clear and we're good so it does have a horn on it kind of meme kind of a, a silly horn if it's quiet you know it is kind of a, a loud horn but it really isn't that loud it's kind of a hilarious horn it's more of like a clown horn novelty thing, I would suppose, if you want to say that. I took off the bell because I wanted to put on a foam mount, and it does have enough space for a foam mount up there. Um, I am doing throttling now. I am not pedaling anymore, but I can put it in pedal assist and throttle, so it may seem like I am fucking pedaling, but I am doing it both now, throttling and pedaling get a little more speed and it claims 13 I don't really believe that I'd probably say 10 right now on tour mode all right let me put it into eco mode well that is sport there okay so let me get into uh, eco real quick yeah, that was a little throttle. I mean, you get the, the responsiveness of the 350 watt motor, or it could be three, 350, 450. This is an Amazon bike. This is the one I, I showed you of earlier on the shorts a little bit ago, maybe five days ago, three days ago. So this is that bike that did the burnout. So it can roast tires um, if you have a little bit of fluids on there um i don't want to roast the new bike's tires i will put a, a review out on that but we are four minutes into the review not bad okay so 1.3 miles on the odometer yeah it is basically it is essentially like you're just pedaling at a normal speed what you really got to stand up sometimes if you want to get that oomph from uh, the eco mode and the pedal assist. Um, yeah, it's very unbearable. You really got to work with the weight of the battery. <laughs> yeah, you really got to do that. You got to work with the weight of the battery and you got to push with it. Come on. That's on eco mode. It feels like the fucking bike's off. All right, let's... uh turn off the bike and actually see how it does it it's gonna reset the odometer like i 
said, if you turn off the bike, that's the one thing about the inch here. You lose all of your odometer miles, which if you're tracking miles, that's kind of pointless. I mean, if you could, you could just do the math on a calculator, but if you had the app, it would be a lot better. So I'm, I'm going to have to do the Movcan review, and I'll get screenshots of that, and I'll add it into the video, and I'll do voiceovers for certain points. So yeah, uh, let me show you it real quick. So this is a selfie view. This is, when I turned it off, it is essentially showing you it's at zero miles, essentially. So I'm going to turn it off, and I'm going to do a pedal review. Get to point A to point B. We'll just start pedaling. Because I don't want to get hit by a car. Yeah, you really got to work with the weight of the battery. And it's just kind of... Uh, uh, across the street. There's nobody coming. Cool. Back on the trail. Yeah, this is essentially... You're pedaling the fucking battery. Getting the weight. There's no gearing on here. Otherwise, if it had a derailleur, it'd be slightly easier because you can fuck with the gearing and stuff. Seven speeds like a Shimano. And then you get Shimano brakes. Then you can really work with it. All right, now let me uh, show you the difference. We were in Eco Tour, and now we're gonna do sport mode. That's why I got the straightaway over here on the trail. Um, yeah, let me put it on. Uh, still got a full battery, which is perfect for this review because I'm essentially just doing a review on the trail. I'll put it back on the charger at home. It's no big deal. It's perfect for like little reviews, short reviews. Um, all right. And like when you even throttle it, it it picks up at a nice speed. And then let me pedal. Probably pick up 22 miles per hour. That was a good little jump there. But yeah. If you even pedal, you can pick up the 22 miles per hour whenever you pedal. 21, maybe 20. It, if I had to do a correct little skid. Perfect. Oh, my tire's hot. It's a little bit hot. Okay, it's perfect. It's perfect. Still had a full battery and there's squirrels chewing nuts. Feels like all day. So let's just come alone on that. That'll be fun. Oh shit, that was a rough one. So yeah, the, the pedal assist is very nice on this bike, essentially. So if you're looking for a decent commuter for your town to get around with pedal assist, the Anch here is perfect for you, or if you have kids at home, I mean I'm 21 myself, and they need a commuter to get to school and it's close by, this is perfect. They can bring this with them, charge it up at home. If it's not too far, they'll they'll pretty much have a full battery whenever they get out of school. They can take it to school and just commute there. Like I said, the brakes are good enough where you can skid. That's not bad. That was a rear brake. So this is pedal assist sport mode. So yeah, those those motors with sport mode and you do a slower pedal cadence will actually respond to the hub motors better and you get that speed without even having to throttle. So I can just basically pedal and let off and just kind of let the battery just jump up, the voltage drop, just go back up to a full battery. You just got to have a cadence. If you see your battery drop, stop pedaling and let it freaking go up in the voltage let it get some uh, cells back some battery cells so essentially just let it go back up 
to stop for a sec and then just get your cadence right so you can go pretty much anywhere. I'm telling you, this thing, if you can strip, I mean, if you're a light person, you can really stretch its capabilities out on pedal assist without having to freaking do a whole lot of throttling. I'm telling you, with pedal assist, it it's a game changer. It literally is. It's it, it's a game changer. So this is a raw, uncut, freaking review. And, I, and I'm kind of proud of it. So yeah, I'm at the, the Wisconsin Trailhead. I'm going to cut the uh, review here. And I'm going to post it later. I'll probably post it here soon this morning. It's still like 9 o'clock in the morning. 8 o'clock. Shit.